I just got nervous. That was it. I don't even know what part is making me nervous. Emmy, that looks just like your butt. <laughs> One of our 5 p.m. tonight. If we are homeless or if we have a house. We were told it's a girl, okay. so. What you want? You want a hug? You want up? She wants up. Good morning, everyone. Today is the day. I still have no voice, or I have a voice. It's just not mine. Come here. Here you go. You want to do the camera? Yeah, yeah, okay. We are going. What are you doing? Anyway, today's the day. We are going to go see baby sister. It's our anatomy scan. If you guys missed me, like, you know, I have, like, a sinus infection or something crazy going on. And she also had something going on, so that's what's happening up here. We had a crazy day slash night yesterday. So I was up all night just, like, thinking about yesterday and then thinking about this scan today. And so really excited to go see her and hoping and praying that everything is good with her. We should see. You want to go see her? Yeah, someone's got to get dressed and get her some breakfast so that she can have the best mommy's doctor's appointment that she can have. And this time we've got daddy as helper slash just general eye candy. Where's daddy? Where's daddy? She's like, I don't care, Mama. I went back up. Okay, you can come with me and we'll just hope that daddy gets up on his own. Oh, I love you too. Okay, we got about 15-ish minutes for me to eat. It's gonna be a quick breakfast this morning. We also have a clean kitchen from our house showings, which is always nice. Eh. We're gonna have some waffles, blueberries specifically. Yes, seems like a very nutritious breakfast. Normally I cut up Beanie's waffle, but today I gave it to her whole and she loves it. And she got mad at me when I took it away to try and cut it up. So, we're gonna go with this approach. Hey. Yeah! Say, don't pull up at 6 a.m. and cut over Bean. Hey. Da -da. <laughs> you think that's funny. Also, that's a big bag of our clean clothes that we didn't have time to put away before our open house or our showings yesterday. So we said, throw it in a bag and hide it. Normal, other people probably do that too, right? So, if you are new Yay! to our channel, Yay! Yeah, yeah. If you are new to our channel, you might not know that when we had our, we did an early gender scan um, to find out the gender of Emerson, where is she's in the dark over here, and we were originally told for like a, a little bit that she was a boy, and they called us while we were on our way home, and they had us come back, and they did the scan because they thought she was a girl. Clearly, that's what she is. So, today we are confirming because, so if you saw our gender reveal video, you know we did an early blood test through sneak peek, and today we are going to confirm whether that test was right or not. Brittany wipes not all over her face. Just like Dada. She's like, Dada kisses me now. <laughs> Gross. And cut to clean me. I really like this canopy they've got going on. Canopy. I feel like with the first, I was so nervous, like going into Emerson's scan that something, I don't know, we just, I had no idea what it was going to be like, but um, A, we've had so much going on that we haven't had time to process this, and B, I just feel a lot more at ease and comfort, comfort in knowing what's going on. Yeah. You were there for the first one too, if I recall. Yeah, I'm calm, cool, and collected. Yeah, I'll call mine. You are, actually, I wouldn't, I wouldn't agree to any of those things. <laughs> also, as we're going into this appointment, I would like to say that Nick opted out of the stroller. So if this goes south, he has himself to blame. It's when. When? So you know it's gonna be bad. I didn't want the stroller. Okay, but, okay. Update on the stroller situation. One's out. <laughs> I just got nervous all of a sudden. I don't even know what part is making me nervous. Because I have one down. <laughs> I also have to have my blood taken today after my thing. Okay, bye. <laughs> Did you do one-handed? 
<laughs> she like wants to walk so bad, but will not do it on her own yet. I just feel like nauseous, nervous. You know, my stomach. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna throw up. Eventually. We were told it's a girl, okay. so we'll find out. We will see. Yeah. Oh, that's a lot of gel. Yeah, I'm an old school girl. I, uh? I put a lot on, so the head is down. Okay. The babies are usually super active right now, so they're kind of flipping around everywhere. Oh yeah, I can feel so all sure. night. Of course. Oh, it's her heart. This is the four chamber heart. Look at you, ma'am. You got a sister with a heart. <laughs> Oh, a side angle. I see her face. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Show the whole abdominal wall here. Mm -hmm. Showing that there's no abdominal wall defects. Okay. So we're looking to sort of right here. I saw a booty. <laughs> booty. I mean, that looks just like your butt. <laughs> it's looking pretty girly right there. Right? There. Oh, okay. Oh, that's in your little eyeball. <laughs> that is so creepy. <laughs> I'm watching they you, sis. They all have alien look. Oh, you know, yeah. Don't they? Oh. They have two arms. Yeah, that's yeah. so cute. She got one up by her head. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, the oh there's her eyes. Ah. Sorry to wake you up. She's too. really moving. Yep. I feel her every time. I'm trying to come in from here. Girl, you look like a pretzel on there. Beanie's like, did you say pretzel? I know. <laughs> that one eye does not go away. <laughs> All of her pictures of sis. You wanna see sissy's pics? You wanna see sissy? No? Yes? It's her. Yes. Yes. <laughs> She's right here. It's her, right there. That's her head. I wanna hold sissy, okay? I would like to hold her. We're back in the doctor room, the doctor room, another room, waiting for the doctor to come talk to us about how everything went. To distract Emerson, we've given her a seat here on the paper. She likes the paper. It's the Emerson, we're here to check your tummy. What, oh, you want, mm-hmm. What's that they have in there? What is it? She looked at you like, Dad, can I have one? She doesn't know that the sucker is candy, she thinks yeah. it's a toy. Yeah. Yeah. Also, we just sent in the papers to our realtor, so one of our 5 p.m. tonight, if we are homeless or if we have a house. She's making me nervous again. I forget about it. <laughs> oh, no, we're fine. She's got drool or she doesn't know what she's supposed to do with it. I it. When I tried to I give her like a lick yeah. of my like popsicle or something, she was so confused. Just you just like rub it all over my face, it'll taste good all the time. I'm a girl. Okay, we're done with our appointment now. Everything went perfectly. I mean, besides Emmy wanting to take a nap, but the baby girl looks awesome. She um, weighs about nine ounces and she was measuring 19 weeks and one day where I am 19 weeks and four days. Four days so she, they said that was right on track. I think you have like a three day buffer period either way. So she's like right on track for her due date. I'm walking to the wrong car and everything looks good which is 
a miracle. I'm kind of upset that we didn't get to see her face at all. I was really excited to compare her profile to Emerson's, but she was head down and then she would move her face from like front to back, like facing forward, facing back, they said. One eternity later. Oh, shoot, my battery's gonna die. Hey guys, it's a couple days later, but I realized that I didn't really film an ending to the day on Tuesday. It's actually Friday now. Our anatomy scan was on Tuesday, as you saw. Everything went really well. Everything is perfect with baby girl, which means, um, and she's still a girl, which means that we can uh, tell you guys her name soon. Um, we kind of just wanted to make sure that everything was going to be great before we just start talking about her. I also wanted to give you a house update because so many of you were really kind, leaving really sweet messages about um, praying for us to get um, to hear about good news on the house that we had put an offer in. If you guys watched our last video, then you know what I'm talking about. If not, I'll put a link somewhere and go watch the house. Go watch the We Sold Our House video and then you'll know that I left you with a cliffhanger so I wanted to tell you more about that. So on Tuesday we were feeling really good and going into Monday night. Um, our realtor talked to, sorry my computer light is like coming and going. Our realtor talked to their realtor and she basically made it sound like we were solid. They were going to accept our offer the next morning after we gave them like just a little bit more time to go over it. And then what happened is they, it seems like they got greedy. They asked everyone to put in their best offer because we had this thing that like an escalation clause on our offer basically. If somebody else put one in, ours would automatically um, go up in price. So above whatever offer was coming in. So what it came down to is they picked um, what seemed like between our offer and another offer and they went with the other one because I don't even know how to explain it. But anyway, they did not choose our offer. So we were a little heartbroken, to be honest. Um, we went on Wednesday and Tuesday, I think, to look at other houses. But it was really hard, honestly, for me to try and compare them to that first house because I loved it so much. Everything else kind of felt like really, I don't know, just not what we were looking for. It did not feel like home compared to that house. And so I was really upset for actually like three days, probably yesterday was Thursday and that was my birthday. Um, we didn't really do anything. Like I said, it's a crazy market. If something comes up, you have to go see it. Um, so our realtor planned out several houses for us to go see today on Friday and I really wasn't feeling excited about it like because I had already seen them all online. I wasn't loving the location of them, the prices, and then what we would get for certain prices. We went to the third house, which I thought I was going to hate and I ended up really liking it. It was really cozy and cute. I took some footage of that. I'll put that over myself talking. And she had just decorated really well. I thought it was really cute, but Nick didn't think that it would work out for um, kind of what we were looking for. And the fact that the loft upstairs wasn't really a closed off area, you basically were in the same room as downstairs and he didn't feel like he knew how to set up the living room downstairs and the yard wasn't that big. Anyway, it wasn't really worth it for us to drive out to where it was and pay that price to live there when he didn't love it. This last house was in the perfect location. So we already liked it before we went in and it was unexpectedly very cute. So um, we ended up putting it in offers like right after we saw it. So basically we will find out tomorrow if we have this house or not. Yeah, it's been a crazy two weeks guys. Thanks for sticking it out with this awful uploading schedule and just hanging out with us. And I'm excited to show you wherever we end up living and um, yeah, this house that we found has, um, because it's so great, like of a location, we are willing to you know, put up with other things, but there are so many things that we could do to it that would make it look really, really cute easily, just like some paint of the trim and different things like that. Anyway, thanks for hanging out with us today, guys. Uh, sorry if this video was a little bit, you know, crazy. I just wanted to update you guys on that. And I love you, and leave a comment, and subscribe, and like, and all that good stuff. I will see you soon, bye!